and there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves oh, wow. into. Here it comes! Concerned look on the face of the champ. She has a lot to lose if she continues to let the challenger in like this. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. Ow. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. She certainly hasn't looked impressive here tonight, guys. But it's still early, and things can turn around on a dime here in oh. WWE. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Boom! <laughs> this could be the turning point, Cole. Look out, look out. This could be it. Boom, what impact. Oh, it's over. She goes for the cover. And the champ kicks out. Not yet. just beaming from her right now. She's looking at it. Oh, that was a long way down. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage. This could end it in a hurry. Beautiful technique. That has got to be it. Let's go back and take another look. Great move by her right there. Here's a cover. Well, oh, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. She's still in this one. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Watch this here. She's in full control now. Here come here! Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face, she reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. 
The champ's starting to stumble a bit, but I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. Yeah, but she still appears to be in a better place than her opponent, so she can probably afford to take on a bit of offense here. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure... Boom! <laughs> this one is over. Even more amazing. She goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. I gotta tell you, I thought she was done there. She might have it. She's got something in mind. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. Comes up big with the reversal. The champion into the cover. Too close for cover. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today... They it's back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi... The two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. She dodges that one. There it comes. Spear! Drops her with authority. Wow, that was intense. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the... Oh, what impact! Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Just in case you didn't see it. The, the champion retains. The champion retains. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A-game every time, I guess. That's a woman on a mission. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Nobody can say he didn't earn this win here. Really a solid, bordering on great performance. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your worldwide internet women's and princess, Sal. What a ferocious conclusion to this steel cage match. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.